Today, we're gonna to be covering how to reprogram your limiting beliefs in minutes instead of years. Now, this is for you if you're a coach, consultant, speaker, healer, author, online marketer, entrepreneur in general, you're going to love today's video. As a matter of fact, it's the most important thing. The most important part of your business is your inner landscape, your concepts of yourself. Guys, if you don't get this right, I don't care how many programs you take, this will show up for you in inability to charge what you're worth, procrastination, self-doubt, finish starting things but not finishing them. This is huge. And make no mistake, Every time you wanna to get to a new level in your business, I wanna make more money, I wanna start speaking, I wanna do videos, I wanna do live events, I wanna launch a mastermind, I wanna host retreats. Every new level that you take in your life, every time you wanna reach and stretch and grow and become more, new level, new devil, that devil is your ego. That devil is the, the old beliefs the limiting ideas and concepts of self. And today I'm gonna to be sharing with you exactly how we help our clients move through that and reach the level of success and financial independence and reach their financial goals. So if you're new to my work, this is maybe one of the first videos that you're seeing. My name is Vanessa Simpkins. I'm a seven figure business owner. My company is called Take Your Power Back Now. It is uh, the name also of my best selling book. I've been at this game for 10 years. Last year we did $2.5 million in sales, which is great, but the real thrilling part for me, the real thrill is when I see women take their kids to Disneyland, buy a new house, you know, and make, make their first $3,000, $5,000 sale. You know, it's, it's when they overcome their fear and they thrive. And that's really why I do what I do. And uh, I've been at this now for 10 years. We help women all around the world skyrocket their confidence and cash flow. We have several different programs. We have a 10K in 30 day boot camp, a bikini business coach mastermind. I do retreats, online masterminds. We do paid advertising, funnels, webinars, you name it. I've been there, done that. I've made more mistakes. <laughs> I've made more mistakes than uh, maybe you have and that's why I'm here today. So let's dive in. I cannot wait to share this with you. It's gonna be a game changer, game changer. All right, so let's talk, let's talk real talk. Limiting beliefs, things like, and I want you guys to take note. I want you to write down, jot down if any of these come up for you or resonate with you. Ideas like, I'm not enough. Um, I can't really have what I want. I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy enough. I'm not ready yet. I'm going to slow down. <laughs> right? Or I can't trust myself to make the right decisions. This comes up, this shows up for us. And again, this is not your fault. Nobody's taught you how to open up your mind and check inside and hunt what I call hunting for gremlins, right? The negative beliefs. But so I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy enough, I'm not ready yet, people will judge me, I can't really have what I want, it's not safe for me to be visible, it's not safe for me to make a lot of money. I used to have that one, oh my God, the government's gonna get me, my family's gonna get me. Nothing ever works out for me. Who am I to be awesome, amazing, and fabulous and rich? I'm not good at technology. I hate sales, sales is slimy, I'm not good at sales, I'm not good at technology, I'm not ready yet. Listen, if any of these resonate with you, even just a twinge, if there's a little edge there, write this down. Now, you might actually not know, this is the real problem, because you, would, you might not know what limiting beliefs are holding you back, all right? But let me tell you something. If you are not at the level of financial success that you expected yourself to be at at this stage in the game, if you don't have the things that you want in your life, whether it's love or relationships or wealth, it is 1000% because of a concept that you hold in your mind. 
okay? Because there are laws that govern reality. I'm talking about law of gravity, for example. You jump off the roof, you're going down. I don't care if you're black, white, red, purple, orange, green, you're going down. You throw your mother, your father, your dog off the roof, they're going down. Law of gravity governs reality here on Earth. Same thing with oxygen. Last time I checked, everyone breathes oxygen around here. Well, it's the same thing with manifestation. Now, I started out many years ago as a law of attraction coach. I'm obsessed with personal development. And I became obsessed with understanding how our subconscious mind manifests. And so th there is a principle, a law, that states that you, whatever is impressed in your subconscious mind, whatever is impregnated in there, meaning your beliefs, must express. Whatever your subconscious mind accepts must express. There is no substitute, there is no, oh, I'm kind of pregnant, but I'm not pregnant. No, you either are or you're not. You either believe it or you don't. It's one or the other. So now, when we look at this, I became obsessed with like, okay, so how in the heck, how in the heck do I impress my subconscious mind? And I'm gonna back it up even further. I'm gonna back it up even further because this is, this is really, this is really what I love to do. This, there, is, there is nothing more in this world that thrills me than helping women come face to face with that limiting belief. It's kind of like when you go to the gym and you sweat. My trainer told me that's like fat melting. Well, when people cry, it's the resistance melting. And again, it's not your fault. No one has, no one has shown you how to do this. So think about your subconscious mind kind of like um, let's say you get a cut all right and you can't just put a band-aid on a festering wound right it's gonna smell it's gonna stink well it's the same thing with your beliefs so the best way to do this is to go out there and find your negative belief and then turn it around and install the exact opposite so what, following this logic, what your subconscious mind believes it expresses, think of, your, think of your momentum in life, your manifesting ability like a freight train. And you've, you've been thinking and believing and thinking and believing, a belief is just a thought that you keep thinking, going, steam training, and your, your reality is showing up. This is what all the gurus say. Oh, it's an illusion. It's, yeah, it is an illusion. Your thoughts are showing up in your life, showing up in your life. And all of a sudden, er, 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 when was, we put on the brakes and we go another direction. That's why sometimes when we make New Year's intentions or resolutions, with our conscious mind, we decide we want something different. But we have to give a little bit of time for the subconscious to bang, get it in there, bang. Now we can show you how to do this in minutes instead of years. This is the secret sauce to why you see hundreds and hundreds of women in our videos crying, saying this has been the best, best investment they've ever made with us. I'm gonna share it with you right now. So I hope you guys are taking notes. So one of the ways to understand and not get screwed up in this process is that even if we find your limiting belief and we turn it around and we start installing the new one, you're still gonna see your past thoughts coming into your life and manifesting. And this is what screws people up. They're like, oh my God, it's not working, it's not working. I'm doing all the work, I'm doing the affirmations. It's not working, it's not working. It is working. But those past thoughts are also coming in now, right? Otherwise, we'd think of an elephant, bang, the thing would land in our house. So don't get tripped up if when you start this work, you know, you see some of those old thoughts manifesting. Keep going, keep going, it's gonna, it's gonna happen. So let's talk about the actual process. <clears throat> let's talk about the actual process to uncover the limiting beliefs. I have a signature system, we teach this to our clients in our 10K and 30 day blueprint. And it's a question. The question is, let's say you're freaking out about something. You wanna make a video, you're, you're trying to attract high paying clients, uh, your web designer let you down. Uh, something is not going the way you wanted to go and you're having a physical reaction, all right? Fear, anxiety, worry, notice. that Those are, those are good signposts, ding, 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 there's something not right. And what most people do is 
oh, let's just think positive. That's the law of attraction. I'm gonna just think positive. No, no. There's a festering wound on your arm and it stinks. No, ignore it. Let's go and open it up and see what it is. So the first question we ask is, well, what's the worst thing that can happen? What's the worst thing that can happen? I'm not ignoring it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up and I wanna go all the way down to the end of the corridor and find out what that is. And what you're gonna find there is death. So let me give an example. What's the worst thing that can happen? Oh my God, I'm, aware, I'm afraid that I'll never make it as a coach. And this is, happens all the time. And then, and then what? And then I'm gonna be on the street and then my husband's gonna leave me and then I'm gonna, and then you're gonna die. You take every, every, every story down the end of the road and it's death, okay? That's how you know it's the ego. Think about it. Oh my God, I couldn't put myself out there as a coach and people are gonna judge me and they're gonna oust me from the tribe and then you're gonna die. I'll be a bag lady on the street and then you're gonna die. That's how you know it's the ego. The ego is always there protecting you and it uses fear to protect you. That's how you know it's the ego. So, next question. Well, how does it, how does it feel in your body when you read, see, think, believe the thoughts I could be out on the street, bag lady, and die. Physically, check in with yourself, into your body. Where do you feel it? Stop thinking, this is a feeling exercise. We wanna locate the feeling. Is it a constriction in your solar plexus? Is it a tightness in your chest, is it your throat? Where is that feeling? Now this is really important because this shows you, this, this demonstrates for you that there was a thought before a feeling. And if that's the case, then we can put another thought in and get another feeling. Now, when we're playing these tapes and, and all I'm asking you to do is to right, open it up, open up the brain, open up the subconscious. It's very simple. All the answers are there. It's right underneath the surface. You don't need to be on the couch and the psychologist for 12 years. You just have to ask the mind the right questions. It's right there. So right, we're becoming conscious of the unconscious stories that are going and playing and they're playing, they're playing, they're playing, they're playing all day long. Oh my God, I got to make a website. Ah, and they're playing, they're playing. And they're making this feeling, this feeling, this feeling, the fear, the anxiety, kind of hard to run a business when you feel like that. So let's use the logic and put in a new feeling. But first we have to find the core belief. We gotta find the festering wound. It's always a short, quip, one-liner, bam. I don't deserve it. I'm not ready yet, not good enough, bam. It's not safe. I never get what I want, things never work out for me, can't have what I want, bam. It's always, it's a one quip, boom. So, following the law that whatever is in the subconscious must express, I didn't make this up, okay? Vanessa Simpkins did not make this up, this is a law. The question is this, for whatever is going on in your life right now that you don't want, that you don't like, that's out of control for you. you. You don't like this event, this experience, this feeling. The question is, <clears throat> and this is first thing that comes to your mind, bang, right out the gate. I want the first thing that comes to your mind. This is not a thinking exercise. Watch thinking. This is the ego. <laughs> likes to screw you up with thinking. What do you have to believe about yourself or about life in order to have created this reality of what's going on in your life right now. First thing that came to your mind, write it down. I'm gonna repeat myself. What do you have to believe about yourself or about life in order to have concocted this reality blank that's showing up right now? First thing that comes to your mind, write it down. Don't think about this. Now that's your core belief, all right? Can you see, and it might be something like, oh, I'm not good enough, I can't do this, I can't do this. Things don't work out for me, it's not safe. Who am I? Now that core belief, if that's what's, if that's what's in the background of everything, can you see 
how it's literally impossible for you to have anything other than what you have in your life right now. Can you see that? And that should bring you some, that should bring you relief. Because if that's the story and you're aware of that, now we can change it. Now we can put something else in there. So what I recommend that you do is create three to five different beliefs, the complete opposite, bang. You're taking the sail of the ship and you're going the op opposite direction. And the way that you wanna phrase these affirmations, I'm gonna show you how to install them in your subconscious when the subconscious is open to receive it and exactly how to do it. But first let's cook up three to five of these affirmations. And there's a way to do it specifically. It's not, oh, I will have this or that, no, no. There's two ways to do affirmations. I am blank. I am totally worthy and deserving of extreme wealth, joy, and romance. That's the one that took me all the way home. I absolutely can have everything that I want. I love myself. I believe in myself. I'm a winner. Those three keys right there, you're, you're all Ferraris and Lamborghinis. The Ferrari and the Lamborghini is in the garage. You want to take it out for a spin? Those three affirmations are the key that turns on the ignition. I believe in myself. I love myself. I'm a winner. Guess why? You believe in yourself, you're going to keep going no matter how many failures you have. You love yourself, you're never going to feel, you're never going to let yourself go so far down a rabbit hole before stopping it and taking yourself out. I'm a winner means no matter how, no matter what I win. I'm a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I believe in myself, I love myself, I'm a winner. Let's just, I, I, I repeat those to myself on a daily basis. Those are the key, that's the ignition, that's the key that's going to start your Ferrari. You could, you could have the best car in the freaking world. You could have the best, mold. you could be the most fantastically talented coach. But you can't get the freaking car out of the garage. No one can see you. What's the purpose of having a Ferrari that sits in the dang garage? No fun. So once you have these three to five affirmations, listen, I give my clients lists and lists of these. All right. Um, I put them in a book and I read them every morning when I wake up. That's one thing. Now, the other thing that you want to do with these beliefs, and again, I showed you, I promised you here in this video, how to reprogram your subconscious mind in minutes instead of years. The way to impress your subconscious mind, I'm going to show you exactly, it, there's three ways it's done. Number one is through repetition. Number one is through repetition. Number one is through repetition. <laughs> and so deceptively simple, you think it's like some big grandiose, like I gotta go and do this crazy therapy. No, no, you just have to repeat to yourself because your subconscious mind makes these new neural pathways. It's like a car, bang, bang, reverse, reverse, go drive, 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 drive. you create a groove in your mind. And the reason why we're using affirmations is because we know that the thoughts create feelings. And that's the second way that we impregnate our subconscious mind through feeling, through feeling. And the third way is through visualization, visualization, those three ways. Think about the Olympic athletes. What do they do? They visualize themselves already there in the, in the finish line. Here's another trick. You're going to love this. Oh, Vanessa, I tried visualization, never works for me. No problem. Here's why. Most people start to visualize, they're like, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, and I went out there and I did this and squirrel and that's it. And you fall asleep. Okay. <laughs> you need to take a 30 second clip of you already having your goal. So you want to make 10K in 30 days or 50K a month or whatever the hell it is. I don't care. You don't really want the money. You want the experience and the feelings that the money is going to buy. So what does that look like when you make your financial goals? Are you taking your kids to Disneyland? Are you buying that house? Are you going on a dream vacation? Are you renovating your kitchen? What is it? Take a 30 second clip and what you want to do in that clip is you want to be in the clip and you're seeing it through your eyes. You're not watching yourself out there in the clip. No, you're in the clip. You're seeing it through your eyes. Whatever it is, your kids come and, and here's the trick. It's only a 30 second clip. And you, 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 for example, I'm manifesting a house in Hawaii. Every time I go to Hawaii, I find a better house. <laughs> so I haven't bought one yet. 
Uh, but I bought another house in Mount Shasta. Anyways, the clip is, oh my gosh, the kids are like running up the stairs and they're like, look at these freaking avocados. It's the size of my head. And you know, my husband comes and I hear the birds and I'm eating, I'm squeezing lime on a, on, on a papaya and I'm eating it and it's sour in my mouth. I'm, I'm exercising all my senses. And then my husband comes and he pats me on the shoulder and he says, honey, what a fantastic house. Well done. The trick in your visualization is to get somebody that you love, family member, a kid, your husband, your wife, to pat you on the back and say, well done, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> That's what elicits all of the feelings. And then you rewind the clip, play it again, rewind, play it again, rewind, play it again, rewind, play it again, until you move yourself into the state of having. Now get this, all states exist. The state of opulence, wealth, abundance, certainty, confidence, love, having. Again, you're either pregnant or you're not pregnant. You can't be in the gray zone. And it's the same thing with manifesting. So you've got to move yourself into the state desired. Assume the state of the wish fulfilled. And this is how it's done, through repetition, visualization and feeling. We use affirmations, the word, and here I forgot to tell you guys, that the two ways to use the affirmations is I am this. Anything you say after the words I am, you become. I am wealthy. I am so happy and grateful now that. Uh, and the other one is it's okay. It's okay for me to be rich. It's okay for me to have wealth. It's okay for me, it's safe for me. It's okay for me to be a badass business owner. It's okay for me to wipes out any and all negative agreements that you might have had in the past. Wipes them right off the table, done. You don't even have to know what they are. Boom, new agreement, it's okay. You are wielding your power every time you make a decision. You wield your power every time you make a decision. That's how you use your personal power. Now, I learned this a while ago. There's only two times you can have a problem in your life. Number one, you don't make decisions. You procrastinate, mm, and you hem and you ha, in which case nothing changes. Number two, you decide that your problems are bigger than you, in which case you become a hopeless victim. Again, not by, no one would, no one would consciously sabotage themselves. Just no one's told you before. So you need to make decisions. And then we, we, we move into different states of being through, you know, these words. I am in the beginning was the word and the word was God. I am, I am this now, not, I will have this. No, the affirmation is I am this now, bam. Your, your state moves into this new state. That's how it's done. So here's when I use my affirmations. Right when I'm about to fall asleep, that's when the conscious mind is, is, is you know, kind of leaving and the subconscious becomes open to impregnation. You know, when you wake up in the middle of the night and you're gonna go to the bathroom, when you come back to bed and you're kind of groggy, bam, you start your affirmations again. And you don't just, you don't say them out loud. I say them with my hands on my heart. Activate your heart chakra. Do you know that your heart field is like a hundred or a thousand times more powerful than your brain? There's an electromagnetic field that people couldn't feel. So hands on the heart and I start to loop them. I love myself, I believe in myself, I'm a winner. I absolutely can't have everything I want totally worthy and deserving. It's okay for me to have two fifty, five hundred thousand dollars a month. I'm a badass business owner. I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a rock star salesperson. I'm really, really good at this coaching thing over and over and over and over. And what you're going to do is you're going to, all of a sudden you're going to be like, yeah, 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 that's okay. I'm there. I got it. Then you start the visualization 30 second clip. My first $40,000 a month, I visualize people throwing money at me. They'd wrap it up in a ball. They'd wrap it up and you know, and <clears throat> put an elastic around it and lob it at me. And then I visualized my current purse. Back then it was a white and black purse, a beach purse. 
and it was filled to the top with money. And my, my shower in that house, in the current house that I lived, filled with money. And I opened the shower and all the money would come down. Why? Because your subconscious mind can't tell the difference between imagination and reality. It gets impregnated by repetition, visualization, and feeling. So there you have it guys, daily rituals. It's like having a freaking shower. If you don't do it in a couple of days, you're gonna start to smell. Your past is gonna start to creep back in. You need to make the new neural pathways. I keep all my affirmations in a journal. I usually work on three to five main ones at a time and I keep them all in the same journal. Do you know why? Because every day I got better shit to do. I mean, I never wanna do them. So I keep them in one book because I cannot discount or discredit all of the amazing things that I have manifested in the last three years since I started using this process. Now there's, there's more to it. Um, there's a little bit more to it, but this is a long video and I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, if you found it valuable, please share it with someone that you love, like, comment, share it.